Hello and welcome. Yes, welcome to this a uh, uh, rather strange personal blog. I want to take you on a bit of a journey that will probably explain how I'm speaking. I can't actually do the next bit, but hello, my name's Inwells, and welcome to the In Crowd. <laughs> Okay, so I'd like to take you on a bit of a journey um, and tell you the, what's happened and where we're up to in the journey. So last Thursday, as my annual leave came to an end, and uh, due to go, I was back at work on Monday. Um, Thursday, I suddenly lost all sense of taste. Uh, word it was COVID, I took a test like all responsible people should do. And it wasn't. I didn't have any other symptoms at all. Just no taste. And then on the Friday, my face started to feel funny. And it was a bit unusual. And I kept thinking, what is this? What's going on here? And but thought nothing else of it. Uh, one of my eyes were was a bit sore. And, and and that was it. Anyway, move forward and Saturday I woke up not being able to close one of my eyes at all and one side of my face extremely uh, paralysed. So this eye here, down this side, is the problem side. And you might notice that this side has a line here and this side doesn't. And it's because the majority of this side is paralyzed. Okay, hence my speech. Now, this has started to spread across to my other side of my face. Um, so I, I'm going back to the doctors tomorrow. But anyway, let me take you back down to Saturday. So I contacted the emergency doctor and they got me to go straight down um, to hospital to meet to get checked out by the emergency doctor who diagnosed me with Bell's palsy. Now, Bell's palsy is very difficult to say <laughs> when you have one side of your face paralyzed because the B requires you to use two, both your lips. Now, I have to be really clear here. I can, if I do this, I can feel you know, that it's not as if there's no feeling there. It's actually that there is no muscle control there. Okay, so I can't... If I was to smile, this is it. This is me smiling. I can open my face, mouth to here. Okay. They, I can move my eyebrows a bit. And this is my eyes shut. I can't squeeze my eyes close together. And if you ask me to blow my cheeks out, <laughs> that's all that happens. If I go, I can do it. But because there's no muscles here, I can't stop the air coming out to blow my cheeks out. So, fine, nothing at all. So, I'm currently on, um, sorry, let me just blink my eyes. I just need, now and again, I need to hold them down just to sort of like water them. So I started on a series of steroids, 10 steroids a day for 10 days. So currently Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this is day five of them. Um, and like I said, uh, it started over on uh, this side, sorry, my camera's back to front and it's confusing me. Uh, but now there's some loss of sensation down here as well. And so I had a, a video consultation with the um, doctor. Um, he said, oh, no, I want to see you. So you might be thinking, oh, well, you've just got a numb face, you know, so what? So... I, I really, my heart goes out to anybody who's living 
or has lived with this condition. Uh, it is totally and utterly de-rehabilitating. It really is. So luckily, I, I, I am very lucky because this eye actually closes enough to let me sleep. Sometimes it's so bad that you need to actually tape your eye shut in order to sleep. Um, my sight's not very good at the moment at all because, of course, I'm wearing my glasses, I've got very focals, and my eyes are tearing up like anything. I started to get some taste back today, which has been fantastic, but my mouth is constantly dry. I have to constantly be careful how I drink because uh, this bit doesn't latch onto a cup. So if I was to show you, that's what I must do. Uh, and of course I dribble all the time. My eyes are constantly sore or um, running. And it's, it's almost like when I eat, if anything gets stuck down between my teeth and my front lip, I can't I can't move it out the way, and so I, it sounds disgusting. This, but I have to sort of get my finger in there and shift, shift it. Brushing the teeth, awful. You get there, and I can't just rip out the toothpaste, and it just goes. <laughs> I keep finding bits of food in there. Shaving. I'm just not going to shave down here anymore because I can't pull the skin tight to make the bristles stand up in order to shave properly. So I, I tried again this morning and I just I thought I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to grow a goatee for however long it actually lasts for. Just one second. It's really funny because one side of my nostrils run. And the other one doesn't. And you, I don't know if you can tell, but this this side of my face is sort of like drooping. I don't know if you can tell just right, right looking. Anyway, so I'm back at the doctor's tomorrow. My family have been fantastic. My sister is running me around, um, looking after me. I have my face mask on, of course, in the car, etc. Friends and people at work have been absolutely fantastic and I must admit I am trying to live by my mantra now or stay positive because it's all right to go away and sort of like say stay positive all the time but it's something completely different to actually do it in times of stress and difficulty. So this is a really testing time for not only myself but also my beliefs and what I actually believe in and suffering from anxiety etc it's very easy for me to get panicky and I'm trying to keep relaxed and trying to keep cool but more importantly not actually think negative I'll start to despair about things and my baby brother my younger brother put something on Facebook, a link on Facebook, which was absolutely fantastic, that basically said that, you know, if you are negative, if you get in this, going into despair mode, P's are not easy to say, then your body cannot repair itself. And that's what it needs to do. Now, just so you know, uh, if it is Bell's palsy, then there's anywhere from three weeks up to nine months it can last for. And I'm still at work currently, and I just encourage people to have a laugh, you know, and not to be worried about it. And if I say something that they don't understand, to actually say, I'm sorry, you know, you're going to have to say that again, or I'll type it or something like that. But and I'm not doing this video because I want sympathy or attention or anything like that i'm doing this video because i knew nothing about this i knew nothing that people were suffering with this all the time and i think it's really important to get the message out there that this can happen you know and apart from losing my ten taste 
and having some swollen glands, that was it. And no warning at all. No warning at all. You might be asking, so what causes this? And, and basically it's an inflammation of the nerve and that causes it to happen. But why? They don't know. It could be the herpes virus, which is caused things like cold sores and things like that. So, but I really wanted to do this just to sort of like get it out there that, you know, these things are out there and you never know. You know, I really do hope that none of you ever get this. I really do. But at the same time, it's really important that some people to recognize that some people do have it and not to be judgmental or to to be understanding of it etc and yeah like i said it's really a case that i'm going to try to stay positive wednesday is video night so i streamed monday and tuesday like this today's video and i'm thinking i'm going to try to stick to my routine and keep going over it because as soon as i stop that then things start to you know you can lead yourself into lack of routine and despair etc so yeah that's the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed it and yeah hopefully hope hopefully when you see me next i might be sounding and looking a little bit different you never know until then please look after yourself stay safe and more importantly stay positive See you later. Bye.